Hello, in this video I'm going to quickly go over the overclock settings that I use on the RTX 2060 when mining Ethereum in HiveOS. Uh, so the settings that I use very quickly, I use an absolute core clock of 990 MHz and a memory clock of around 1700 MHz. One of the GPUs I did 1725, you get a little bit of extra mega hash, uh, but you can achieve about 31.8-31.9 mega hash with these settings. And if I quickly hop over into the miner here, uh, this is a T-Rex miner. I am running a couple miners, you can ignore that. Uh, but for the RTX 2060 GPUs in software power consumption with the absolute core clock set, we're using around 78, 75, and 74 watts there. And when I did measure at the wall with a kilowatt meter, uh, the RTX 2060 GPUs are using about 80 to 85 watts at the wall for almost 32 mega hash, which I think is pretty decent. Uh, now compared to a 1660 Super for Ethereum, uh, they're not that much better really, if, if better at all you could argue because they do use quite a little bit more power, a couple extra watts there. Uh, but when you are looking at other algorithms, like which I was going to show you in just a second here in the profitability calculator, so this is um, minor stat profitability calculator, we entered in our custom hash rate, so we have 31.8 mega hash at about 85 watts, uh, so it's showing you here that of course Ethereum is the most profitable to mine. And of course, if you are wondering why the profitability varies between pools, it just depends on what uh, which pools are hitting blocks at what certain time. So you can see I'm mining on the ETH EZL pool. So after electric, it's estimating that I'm going to be making about $1.78 uh, after power at, I believe here it's $0.10 cents, uh, per kilowatt hour. Um, if you scroll down though, you'll see, I don't know how far Ravencoin is down, but this is another coin that I was looking at potentially mining on the RTX 2060. It's not related to this video, uh, but it is also pretty efficient at mining Kapow. I know if you do increase your uh, power consumption, you can get up to like 16, 17, 18 mega hash, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that's going to quickly wrap up the video there. Again, these are the uh, Ethereum mining settings. Now let me just quickly move this back over. These are the Ethereum mining settings on the RTX 2060, and this is what it looks like uh, at an overall view. So all these uh, absolute core clocks here of 990, that's all for the RTX 2060, as well 1700 megahertz uh, for the memory is what I use there. And of course, uh, power, this is one thing I'll mention. In, if you are mining with Windows or another uh, operating system, and you haven't set an absolute core clock either in HiveOS or inside of the miner itself, um, generally the lowest power consumption or the power limit that you can actually run on an RTX 2060 is about 125 watts and that's where after HiveOS implemented this absolute core clock uh, that's when I started to actually consider mining on an RTX 2060 because instead of us pulling 125 watts we can actually input the uh, optimal settings of basically we only need 990 on the core and it dropped our power consumption down to only what we needed to use. But anyways, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you guys have any questions, you can always feel free to reach out in the comment section below. Thanks.